Okay, I just wanted to clear up some things about turning your knee wall into a box beam to help support your floor joists in your new attic renovation or attic bedroom. This was the original knee wall. It didn't have this plywood on the side. What I did was took two foot widths, 24 inch widths of half inch plywood and nailed and glued them to each side of the knee wall. So this is 24 inches right here. I didn't have to do the whole thing. The beam doesn't have to run from, from floor to, to uh, rafters of the knee wall. It just needs to be big enough to support what you want it to support. And I thought 24 inches of box beam was sufficient in my case. Now this, I did go back and before I put the plywood on, you, you want to put um, cross members here, blocking or whatever you want to call it, to uh, sturdy everything up and keep it solid. And then, like I said, it's glued and nailed. Now, of course, this looks like this the weight of the box beam and these rafters is just sitting on these joists. But you know, that's not the case. That's partly the case. These joists are carried by this load-bearing wall over here and load bearing wall over here, but the joists are also carried by hanging. These are hangers and they're sandwiched between my double joists. I didn't draw that very well. I just try to get this down really quick here to explain it. They're sandwiched here and the weight of the joist in the middle is carried by posts in the interior wall. So you can imagine Everything in here is the main floor. This is the floor joist to the main floor. This is an interior partition wall. So this is like a bedroom over here. You go a little deeper, that's a bedroom in there. And everywhere these interior walls cross perpendicularly, you're going to put a post. You'll open up the drywall if you're gutting the house or whatever, you just stick in the post, but you might need to cut into the drywall and stick a post in the perpendicular walls and run the post and, and have the post meet exactly where the bo box beam is crossing. It's crossing these perpendicular intersecting walls. So depending on how far your bedrooms or rooms are spaced apart, you know, this is like 8, 10, 12 feet, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Just size everything accordingly. And I'm not going to give you sizing. That is up to you. Or if you want to bring an engineer into it, they can help you. We're going to take this post and your floor would be right here for your main floor and then there's another joist and beneath that joist you're going to add another post if there isn't one already and you're going to carry that weight all the way to the footing. So essentially the weight of these rafters and the weight that is carried on these joists is transferred not only to these load bearing walls but it's transferred to these posts that will run intermittently wherever there's a perpendicular wall all the way down to the basement to a footing. So like I said, these joists are supported by hanging from the knee wall and by sitting atop the load bearing walls. I hope that cleared everything up at least a little bit. Thanks for watching.